Oh, hey yo, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today is a great day for a challenge round. Welcome to the challenge round. Here's the breakdown. The first competitor, standing five feet, four inches, weighing 220 pounds, Lee Priest. And his opponent, standing 5 feet, 3 inches, weighing 195 pounds, Mohammed Benaziza! Today's challenge round is brought to you by the greatest one. And we begin with the front relaxed. And I must say, much like the Danny Padilla versus Mohamed Makawe, this one's going to be a tough one. Beneziza here, in my opinion, has the advantage on the lag uh, department. And I'm quite surprised about that fact, actually. It's not a, a drastic uh, advantage here. I mean, very similarly built structurally. But I give the advantage to Beneziza in the lag department. When it comes to the waist, it's a very, very difficult one for me to judge. Now, there's no doubt about it that I appreciate the size of Lee Priest's waist here in comparison to the rest of his body. So, but if you're a fan of the abs, then you have to like Beneziza in this one. Of course... Benaziza wasn't winning in the lag department, but then when we look at the arms, I mean, Priest is just destroying Beneziza. But I, I feel that this one's going to be right down to the nail, so I'm actually going to let you guys know how I actually judge these things. I don't uh, give a full point for, uh, for this one, but I will give a slight edge for uh, Lee Priest in this one. So, out of a possible three points, he gets one. So, let's move on to the first pose, which is the classic front and double bicep. And it looks like we get another tough one. To be honest, this is uh, probably even more difficult than the Danny Padilla versus Mohamed Makawe. Again, we have to eliminate the waist as a uh, I like the abs on Beneziza's part, and again, I like the, the small waist on the part of Lee Priest, so cancels each other out here. Now, in the leg department, I wouldn't say at all that is winning this one. It's, uh, it's very, very close in the leg department. Now, in the arms, I mean, it's obvious to me. I will say Beneziza has some nice... Uh, cuts there he's always in great condition but look at the size of lee priest's arms here to me that's that's a definite victory at least in the arm department and uh considering benazine is not not really scoring a huge victory here or a victory at all in the lag department i'm gonna give lee priest just a slight win in this one here in the side tricep pose, and it looks like Beneziza is going to get his first victory. And I'm going to call this a full victory as well. I uh, I never really appreciated the aesthetics in the way uh, Priest is hitting this pose here. I feel that Momo Beneziza's uh, very statuesque appearance 
is enough to get him a victory here. Although I will say, Priest, once again, is, is dominating in the arm size here. But I believe that will continue on with this entire uh, contest. So, let's move on to the front lat spread. And I'm going to have to give this one, once again, to Momo Beneziza. Although I will say, I, I appreciate and I, I, I believe that Lee Priest is able to hit this shot a little bit better. The way he's, uh, he's opened up a little bit more. But when you look at the lats themselves, I think structurally and genetically speaking perhaps, Momo Beneziza is just outstanding. You can see his, uh, his lats are quite visible. And having said that, I really think the only department that Priest is scoring ahead in Beneziza here would be the arms once again. And I don't think that the arms are that big of a deal here in the front lat spread. Actually, uh, kind of hides and perhaps even takes from the, the appearance of the lats. And also, Beneziza is perhaps scoring ahead in the lag department here. In comparison with the, the rest of his body, anyway. He's got some... Pretty good deep striations and cuts here. And I think this gives uh, Beneziza enough for uh, for a victory in the front lat spread. So let's move on. Here in the Abanthai, and I think Momo is going to sneak in another victory. He's very sneaky, this guy. He uh, He's compiled three victories in a row now against Lee Priest. This is quite surprising to me, indeed. I figured... Uh, at least in the front poses, it was going to go the way of Lee Priest, due to his, uh, his size advantage. But, in the breakdown of this pose, once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but Priest dominating in the arms here. It's, it's plain to see. It's pretty much boys against men. But, since it's the ab and thigh, we can pretty much eliminate the arms as a, as a tool of judging here. And we're going to look at the waists. And pretty similar here. I'll give Beneziz a slight advantage in the abs, but then again, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I believe Beneziz's lats are perhaps flaring out just a little bit more here, but not enough to make a decisive decision on this pose. But when we glance down at the thigh, and we got to consider this is the ab and thigh pose, I would say without a doubt Beneziz's Scoring ahead in that aspect. So that's enough to give Beneziza his third victory in a row here. So it's not looking for pre good for Priest here heading into the back shots, as we know how uh, how well developed Beneziza's back is. But let's have a look at the rear lat spread. I gotta be honest, this is a uh, this is a shock to me. I'm surprised how much wider Lee. Uh, Lee Priest is here, then Momo. And one other thing that surprises me is Momo Beneziza has no glutes or hamstrings to speak of. Perhaps the way they were they were displaying themselves in the early 90s. But I mean, how could I very well vote against Lee Priest here when you look at the glutes and hamstring development? I will say, Beneziza has far, far superior genetically uh, gifted here back development. This is just unbelievable. It's like uh, Phil Heath here, a small version. But like I said, how could I award this man a victory when I look at those little legs compared to those big Hostetler horse legs of Lee Priest? And I mean, Priest's back is is decent. It's not uh, it's not terrible. It is big. Genetically speaking, he doesn't have the gifts that one Momo Beneziza possesses. But dare I say, I'm gonna edge out Lee Priest to victory in the rear lat spread. So let's have a look at the rear double bicep. And honestly, I really just can't get over this individually. When I see any pictures of Momo Beneziza, and he has everything that it takes to have a, one of the best back developments of all time. But I guess when you compare him against just a, a far superior in size anyway, 
uh, Lee Priest here. How can I vote against the more massive back? And having said that, this uh, shot, Momo, uh, he does not display his legs, his hamstring development here. And uh, it was uh, very difficult for me to find a pitcher that he did, with a straight on anyway, rear double bicep. So having said that, we can pretty much tell by the last pitcher that Priest would be dominating in that aspect anyway. And when we look at the back development here, Priest is, uh, he's, I think he's doing battle pretty good here in terms of the development alone. And when it comes to the size, I mean, boys against men once again. So we're going to give Lee Priest, unbelievably, both of the back shots. So, let's have these gentlemen turn around for uh, most muscular. Both guys look outstanding here, I will say. And uh, I, I have to give the edge in conditioning here to Momo Beneziza. And uh, like I said, just the edge here, because the conditioning of Lee Priest is outstanding as well. Let's see, the vascularity level in the, in the upper body here is, is unbelievable. But having said that, I think Momo Beneziza is winning in the lag department here. But I don't think that's enough to get a victory in the most muscular pose. I think the most muscular pose is more about the upper body. And when it comes to the upper body, it's just a sheer dominance here, once again, by Lee Priest. And if you look at the arm size in a comparison, boys against men, once again. So, Lee Priest uh, scores his third decisive victory here in this contest. Now, speaking of the word victory, let's have a look at a victory pose. I will be honest, between these two gentlemen, I have to say I like Lee Priest a little bit better as a bodybuilder. With all due respect to Momo Beneziza, I, I fully respect this man and appreciate him. And I will be honest, and I was pretty much setting this up for Lee Priest to get a victory in the victory pose, since it is his, one of his signature poses. But, here at Mark's Max Muscle, we have to be objective, and we have to vote for the better bodybuilder. And it's plain to see that Momo Beneziza is scoring a victory in the victory pose, no pun intended. Interestingly enough, the way I score this one with points and half points, these guys are at a dead heat and they're at an exact tie. So we're going to have to look at a final pose. And I guess we're being told by Lee Priest's trainers that he was not ready for the ab and thigh pose a few poses back in the in the contest. So we're being told that he had uh, died it down for an extra couple of uh, minutes there, I guess, for this contest. And he, he's ready for another go at the ab and thigh. So let's have a look. And wow, those uh, few minutes of dieting really helped with Lee Priest. Uh, of course, I, uh, the first pitcher I selected, if we're uh, going to get real here for a minute, I apparently had not selected the the best pitcher overall for Lee Priest for the Abanthai. And of course, here at the challenge round, we select the guys in their prime, no matter what pitcher it is. So usually earlier on in the bodybuilder's careers, their Abanthai pose and a couple other poses perhaps are usually better off. So, it's plain to see here that Lee Priest is scoring ahead in the ab and thigh. As Beneziza was scoring ahead in the thigh department last time, I will say his thigh is much larger here. He's actually bigger than Priest here. But Priest battling back with those striations this time. And given that he has just superior ab development here, it definitely warrants enough for a victory here for Lee Priest. I will say, Momo Beneziza put up one heck of a fight here. This is uh, perhaps the longest of the challenge round videos, and I apologize for that. But we have to give an objective decision 
on all the posing, and this this was the most difficult one. So, of course, uh, I had to take a couple extra minutes to decide for each pose. I definitely will say we will welcome Momo Beneziza back for another challenge round. But here is your winner, Lee Priest. Priest will, of course, now advance to the Gladiator round. Well, that about does it for that one. As always, let me know in the comments section below if you have any other ideas for an upcoming challenge round match. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.